Scarcity of rare earth minerals indicates that battery electric automobiles will not be able to fully satisfy our future transportation needs. Therefore, we are constantly reminded that at least partially, the segment of zero-emission vehicles must be occupied with hydrogen-powered models. In this episode, we continue exploring the segment of fuel cell technology and will demonstrate to you the latest advancements in the field. So, subscribe to Automotive Territory channel, ring the bell, and enjoy the ride! Hyundai Envision 74 To flex its muscles as the self-proclaimed leader in the sustainable performance technology, Hyundai released a lab study of a high-performance hydrogen fuel cell hybrid. The Envision 74 pays homage to the Hyundai Pony Coupe concept from 1974 that was developed by the legendary Italian automotive designer Giorgiato Giorgiaro. The new highlight of its exterior look is parametric pixel lighting and a distinctive B-pillar of the original. This build is based on the latest hydrogen fuel cell architecture from Korea that combines a 62.4 kWh battery pack with the 800V architecture and a fuel cell system that carries 9 pounds of hydrogen. The total output of this retro sports car reaches 670 horsepower, 664 pound-feet, and 375 miles of range. H2X Where Go The world's first hydrogen-powered electric pickup truck will be manufactured in Australia sometime in 2023. The Warago combines a 60 kW fuel cell system that is connected to the rear or all-wheel drive electric powertrain with a 30 kWh battery. In the top configuration, the model is rated for 354 horsepower, 8.1 seconds 0 to 60, and 80 mph top speed. This truck carries four fuel tanks that are able to store hydrogen at 700 bar. This allows to extend its maximum range to 280 miles. According to H2X, Warrego will be targeting agricultural, mining, and construction market segments, so it should easily tow 5,500 pounds and carry 2,200 pounds of payload. Hyperion XP1 After a rapid rise in California, the automotive startup Hyperion Motors have moved operations to Columbus, Ohio. There, the world's most powerful hydrogen hypercar is scheduled to go into production in 2023. Unlike its competitors, Hyperion does not use a battery pack. Instead, the four-motor system relies on the ultra-capacitors that buffer the output of the hydrogen fuel cells. This all-wheel drive powertrain also incorporates a three-speed transmission and a bulletproof hydrogen tank. The creators promise 1,000 miles of range, 220 mph top speed, and a 2.2 seconds 0 to 60. The Hyperion XP1 has a carbon titanium monocoque chassis, V wing doors, 134 inch glass canopy, and active aero components that also act as solar panels. Despite housing a fully furnished premium cabin with a 98 inch screen, its dry weight should not exceed 2,275 pounds. Toyota GR Yaris H2 We are all familiar with the basic principle of how hydrogen cars work. Fuel cells generate electricity that is buffered by battery pack and then distributed to the electric motors. Toyota is the leader in this technology, but the Japanese are also developing an entirely different powertrain where hydrogen will be used as traditional fuel directly by the engine. The working prototype was demonstrated by the company's CEO and four-time World Rally Championship winner Juha Kinkunen at the Y Press Rally. The specs of the Toyota GR Yaris H2 are supposed to be more or less identical to the standard GR with a 1.6-liter turbo 3-cylinder, but due to the more intense hydrogen detonations, it got a strengthened block and a modified injection system. Renault Scenic Vision This concept version of the Scenic graduates from the compact MPV niche and becomes a crossover. From the outside, it previews the upcoming new generation model, though in terms of technology and interior design, the Scenic Vision definitely looks into the brand's distant future. 
This crossover has chiseled exterior lines, a closed-off front fascia, attractive LED headlights, and new 21-inch wheels. On the drivetrain front, the company is playing around with an idea of a hydrogen electric system. It consists of an electric motor making 218 HP, a 40 kWh battery, and a 16 kW fuel cell acting as the range extender. The interior of the crossover is performed using recycled materials and eco-friendly carbon fiber. Plus, the entire car is said to be 95% recyclable. If you agree that hydrogen cars will play an important role in the zero-emission future of our planet, then press the like button and stick around till the end of the video. Thanks for the feedback and we keep rolling! Rover Simple Rasa The tiny Rasa by the Welsh company Rover Simple has been under development at least since 2009, and in these years it was often written off as a failed project. Rover Simple, however, never gave up on the idea and continued honing its design and construction. The final Rasa is a lightweight city car with a carbon fiber chassis and gullwing doors. Its body is extremely aerodynamic, achieving 0.224 drag coefficient. The drivetrain system is quite humble. A fuel cell can choose four and wheel motors with 12 horses, aided by ultra capacitors. The setup pushes the car to 60 miles per hour, minimizes energy losses, and manages to take full advantage of regenerative braking. According to the company, Rasa carries just 3.3 pounds of hydrogen stored at 350 bars, and it should be enough for 280 miles of city driving. Forsey H2X what started in 2007 as the student-based project specializing in building of hydrogen-fueled powertrains and parts resulted in a leading racing team that delivered eight racing cars for various competitions. Forza 9 is the epitome of 15 years of experience and the fastest car in this category in the world. It is capable to hit 60 miles per hour in just three seconds, while its top speed is limited to 186 miles per hour. Weighing a bit over 3,300 pounds, the four-wheel drive 4C9 features two fuel cell systems that deliver continuous 326 horsepower, while in the boost mode the output races to over 800 horses. Due to the constant development of the hydrogen technologies, Forza secured more space for fuel tanks, and the new build can now compete for one hour before refueling. BMW iX5 Hydrogen The fact that Germany has recently invested $9 billion into the hydrogen infrastructure could explain BMW's continued interest in the development of the fuel cell technology. The key role in this push will be played by the Munich High Competence Center for Hydrogen. Over there, BMW stacks fuel cells from Toyota and combines them with the fifth-generation BMW eDrive. The powertrain sends 374 HP to the rear wheels and ensures 312 miles of range, which is a courtesy of a duo of 700-bar carbon-reinforced tanks. In other aspects, it is the good old BMW X5 of the fourth generation, with the iDrive 7 infotainment and premium interior. Interestingly, this SUV will not be available for purchase, and rather will be sent to individuals and influencers for testing. Namex SUV Founded by Fauci Anaya and Thomas de Lussac, Namex is an up-and-coming Afro-European industrial and technological startup that will be headquartered in France. Their HUV was co-designed with Pininfarina, who chose to stick with the raw and modern SUV curves and created the X-style DRL signature, highlighting the exploratory nature of the model. The Namex will arrive in two versions, a 296 HP rear-wheel drive and the range topping for wheel drive GTH with 542 horsepower, 4.2 seconds 0 to 60, and 155 miles per hour top speed. To achieve infinite mobility, Namex have patented a new fuel cell technology with a fixed hydrogen tank and six additional removable capsules for the total range of 497 miles or 800 kilometers. Alpine A4810 
a close collaboration between the European Design Institute from Turin and the French Alpine, gives life to this concept supercar. The two-seater boasts the Formula 1-inspired carbon fiber bodywork. There is a gigantic splitter on the front end, ultra-thin strip of LED lights, and massive wheel arches. The rear end also sports futuristic transparent LED taillights shaped like light plates. Another highlight of the concept's exterior is a matte black glass canopy stretching across the entire length of the body. A rather spacious cabin features a two of low-slung bucket seats with a fixed backrest angle, Formula 1-derived steering wheel, futuristic console panel in the center, and red ambient lighting. The car's powertrain runs on hydrogen, but it is not clear whether it functions as an internal combustion engine or features a fuel cell. Would you consider buying a hydrogen fuel cell car to avoid range anxiety and long stops for refueling? Subscribe to Automotive Territory channel, ring the notification bell, and smash the like button. More informative episodes are waiting for you through the links on the screen. Stand with Ukraine and may the torque be with you!